Hello everyone. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use column store indexes. This is a new index option in SQL Server 2012. These indexes are created on columns instead of rows. Traditional indexes group and store data for each row. The query optimizer then joins all these rows to form the result set. With column store indexes, it groups and stores data for each column. And then the query optimizer joins the columns to complete the result set. So they can significantly speed up your queries. They're especially good for data warehousing queries where you have star joins and aggregates. The database I'll be using in this demo is the AdventureWorks DW database. This is the sample data warehouse database for SQL Server and you could download the MDF file from Coplex. So once you get to Coplex, click on SQL Server 2012 DW and download the AdventureWorks DW 2012 data file. The query I'm running is a simple query against the fact table joining to two dimension tables. And I'm returning the total sales amount for each city. I'm going to turn on the statistics for time and IO so we could see those stats. I haven't created the column store index yet. Let's see how the query performs without it. For the fact internet sales table, we have a relatively high number of logical reads at 2062 and a CPU time of 20 milliseconds. Most of the work, most of the reads are being done against the fact table. Looking at the execution plan, we see that most of the cost, 82% of it, is on the cluster index scan for the fact internet sales table. Let's add a column store index to this fact table and see how the performance changes. The syntax for a column store index is basically the same as a traditional index. The only difference is that with a column store index, we need the keyword column store. So I'm creating a column store index called CSIDX fact internet sales on the fact internet sales table for the sales territory key and sales amount columns. These are the only two columns being used in my query. Okay, now that it's created, let's run the query again and see how the performance changes. Now under logical reads for the fact table, it dropped down from 2062 to 22 logical reads. This is a pretty significant decrease. And for the CPU clock time, it dropped from 20 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds. For the execution plan, instead of using the primary key or the, the cluster index for the fact table, now it's using the com store index. And we see that the cost dropped from 82% to 16%. So here you can see how a com store index can improve query performance especially for these data warehouse type queries that perform column aggregations such as sum. One more thing I want to mention is that there are several limitations when using column store indexes. Some of the major ones are that you can only have one per table. You can't have a unique or clustered column store index and also tables that have a column store index can't be updated. Once you add a column store index to a table, it essentially becomes read only. So now that we have a column store index on this fact internet sales table, any kind of modifications that we try to do to it, such as delete from the table, we will get an error. And basically it's saying that 
because it has a column store index, we can't update the table. So that concludes the short demo on column store indexes. Thanks for watching.